Hello everyone, I'm Josh Garrett and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a whole YouTube video only using Filmora. If you are a beginner editor, you will see all this and not really understand what all this is. So I shall be explaining you the interface. First of all is the media tab. This is where you import uh, your videos, your images from the file explorer. Then you have stock media. In stock media, you can import colors like black and white and you can import stock media like photos and videos from pixels pixabay giphy and unsplash next we have audio here you find your background music and also sound effects after that we have the titles tab here you can find your titles and they even offer some very cool presets then we have the transitions and effects tab this is to improve the aesthetic of your video and finally we have the stickers tab which gives you arrows hearts you know emojis anything you'd like we won't be looking at the templates tab as of right now anyway this thing you see here is called the player when you import your media you will see the video right here and this here is your timeline zoom into the timeline by doing this now that we know everything you really need to know let's go to media and let's import a media i have this cycling footage and you can just click it to see how it look and to import it you just have to drag it into the timeline now that you've imported it you can play through it by clicking the play button now that you see in the media I'll show you what you can do with this media itself. First of all, how do you split? Say for example, I want to split right here. I could either click Ctrl plus B or you can click this uh, scissor icon right here. Both of these will split the media right where this red line is. Now there's many things you can do to a video. You can double click on the video and this will pop up. So now we can increase the scale then you can edit the position then you can also rotate it now there are other ways to do it in the player itself you can rotate by holding this and dragging it anywhere you like you can scale it up by holding this and dragging it up or down and you can change the position by just holding your mouse button and dragging it anywhere you like now that we have the media here let me show you how you can add audio, titles, transitions and effects. So let's say I want to add a title. I'll just import the default title and then you can double click it to edit it. So here's the color, here's the size and here's the font. You can change your text right here. Now I'm going to change the font to some font I really like. It's monster or black but you can edit it to whatever you like. You can get further advanced options by scrolling down and clicking more text options. Here you can change the letter spacing and line height. I think I'm going to change the letter spacing to around 20. Now that you have this, you might ask, how do I add shadows and outlines, etc. I mean, it's not really here, is it? For that, you click on the advanced button and then here you can change the outline you can change the shadows and the background for this i will add an outline maybe change it to black you can change the thickness the blur and the opacity then i'll also add a shadow which i might just change the color to a little dark gray give it some blur and change the distance you can also add animation by clicking on this animation tab right here and you can add in, out and loop animation. And then for the start, I'm going to add this animation. You can also add out animation the same way. And then the loop animation simply gives a... And the loop tab just simply gives you cool animations like this that play on loop. 
but I don't think I need it right now so I'll just click none and click apply so now you have finally added text and edited it what about effects you click on the effects tab and you can add whatever effect you like for this effect I'll add an auto enhance just click on it and drag it on the media another thing you can do is click on the effect and put it over the media the reason this is good is if you want to add the effect for more than one um, media now the effect applies for the text as well this is how you add effects now how about transitions now a transition by going anywhere you like splitting it so drag your transition in between the two clips and then it will be added you can double click on the transition and edit it however you like i like overlap but you can also add prefix and postfix which is as the transition after the media or before the media and then you can change the duration here maybe i only want just one finally how do you add stickers this can be simply done by importing a sticker like this like how i imported a red arrow and then I just simply drag it, rotate it, and voila, we have a sticker. Now what else can you do? Now you can export this video by clicking on the export button right here. And then you can change the name and then export it by clicking this button. Now that you've exported it, I'll also show you how you can make your own thumbnail in Filmora itself. First of all, add the media. I'm just going to add the same stock footage I imported. So say I want a thumbnail right like this. Then I'll add a title and change it to whatever I'd like. You can add effects, anything you want. After you have your thumbnail ready, you can just go and click on this button and it'll take a snapshot. After you have the snapshot, you can import this as your thumbnail. And then you also have your video, which you can upload to YouTube. Now, that's for the video. Thanks for watching. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe. Bye.